Hey, Trinity Fitness community, Jason coming to you with today's devotion. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm really glad you're here. There's a saying for those who grew up in Montana. Now, I didn't grow up in Montana. I grew up on the East Coast of Florida, and I don't know where you grew up, but if you grew up in Montana, chances are you heard this. The time to have the map is before you enter the woods. Doesn't that make sense? The time to have the map is before you enter the woods. Wow, the map is needed, it's, necess it's, it's necessary. It helps you navigate where you're going through the thick woods and the mountains of Montana. Well, what about life? God's word says this, your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. That's King David. Uh, who wrote this song. Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. In other words, your word is the thing that guides me, that lights my way and gives me direction. The time to have this map is before you get into the woods. And the woods is synonymous for confusing times. And it, it doesn't necessarily mean it's a bad time. It, it could be that, let's say you lost your job, you're praying for a new job, and you have three new off offers or opportunities, and you're not sure which one to take. Well, before you try and navigate that decision, you gotta grab the map. You gotta be in the Word and talking to the Lord if you're expecting to hear from the Lord. Uh, maybe it is a tough time. Raising teenagers, if you've done that, I have, four of them, I feel like I'm in the woods and I can't see really well. Well, I gotta grab my map, I gotta grab the word, I've gotta spend time in prayer. And the bottom line, the, you know, the moral to all of this is, if we want direction and clarity in life, if we wanna hear from the Lord, what is it that we should do, what direction we should take, We've got to be intentional and spend regular time with the map, which is the word, and with the map writer, Jesus himself. My battle cry for you today, grab your map, meaning grab the word of God, hold it close, read it regularly, and let's do what it says. Let's walk in obedience. Hey, I love you guys. Thanks so much for tuning in today. Let's pray, and then I'll let you hit this battle. Jesus, thank you that you are the map writer that you have given us your word as a map, as a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. May it guide us each and every day. Bless my friends as they hit this workout. In Jesus' name, amen.